Okay, one of the really important uh, things that we measure on rangeland if we're trying to look at a rangeland site is shrub cover. Shrub cover is important for a lot of reasons, especially wildlife habitat, because these shrubs are really important for cover for small rodents and ground nesting birds, but also for elk and deer that eat shrubs. Uh, it's also important for hydrology that when rain comes down, these shrubs have kind of deeper roots that will hold the soil and also keep that raindrop from hitting the soil. So we measure shrub cover. We have desires, like we have goals for how much shrub we want to see on a site. There's a lot of different ways to measure cover. We're doing one of the simple ones and I've laid out a line here today. This line is 65 feet long. That will vary in the CDE. Sometimes it'll be longer, sometimes it'll be shorter. I'm just gonna show you how to measure some of the shrubs along this line. What I'm looking for is how much of this line is covered by shrubs. And then I can say a percent of shrubs. So that's how we measure or we talk about shrubs in this community. We say, oh, well that was 10% shrubs or that was 20% shrubs. So we're gonna find out how much shrubs are from here down to that pink line there. Let's take a look. I'm just gonna describe it and then I'll give you some better pictures um, along the way. But I'm coming at the beginning here and I get just the little ways and I find my first shrub. Now it doesn't matter where it's rooted or anything, just measure if it's hanging over the shrub. So I'm looking straight over the shrub and on my data sheet, I'm gonna say this is five inches. I kind of close one eye so I get a really good line of what's at the beginning and what's at the end. So when you do this, there'll be some meter sticks and you're gonna to wanna to use meter sticks or I use these folding carpenter rules. So that's the first sagebrush. It's five, um, uh, five inches. Coming along here, I just kind of keep watching really close on the uh, line and I come to another shrub. I'm going green to green. I don't, I don't, part, I don't measure the dead part of the plant. I don't measure the, the uh, stems. I just measure the green to the green. And from here I can see that that is from here to here and I'm right over the shrub and that would be two and a half. And there's a big gap here. So I'm not gonna measure that. That's actually the same plant, but I'm not gonna measure it because it's a, a gap of six inches. And now I'm gonna look what's exactly green to green, two and a half, two and a half more inches. Again, now there's another big gap, so I'm not gonna measure that. And I come to another part of the same shrub and the amount of green is five inches. Okay, coming along, no more shrubs, no shrubs, no shrubs, no shrubs. Oh, and here I come to a bitter brush, and it's kind of on the edge of the line, but there is part of it that's overlapping. So I'm gonna go the part that's overlapping from here to here, it's 10 and a half inches. One interesting thing about this is there's some little gaps here. They're like an inch or so, but it's all the same plant. So when we measure cover, we disregard anything that is less than two and a half inches. Because then we just say, well, that cover is kind of complete. It's kind of continuous. Unless if it's, if it's less than two and a half inches, it's continuous. If it's more than two and a half inches, then we say that's a break and we'll start a new plant. So for here, I had that measurement of 10 inches, a couple little gaps there, but it's all continuous. Walking along, walking along. Oh, now here I see a sagebrush, but this is a, this is a stem. It's not green, so I'm not gonna measure that part. However, another part of that same plant is right here. And I would say green to green right over the line is three and a half inches. That little part right there. Nothing, 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 nothing. Well, nothing, there's all grass here, but that doesn't count. Uh, so now we are doing, no, here, look at this nice big shrub here. This is sagebrush. And again, I'm gonna look right over here and I'm gonna see how much of this is overlapping with gaps less than two and a half inches. So I'm gonna go from here to here, gonna check it again at the beginning. Look over at the end, 16. It's really important to be straight over the point that you're looking. So that's 16 inches. Okay, coming again. Got a nice rock there and now I've got some shrub, another sagebrush. The part that's overlapping the line. It can be under the line or above the line. In this case, there's a little bit under the line. So I'm gonna take that too. And I'm gonna go from right there and I'm gonna come over here and I see that it ends at about 17 inches. So even though it's a fairly small shrub, the way it's laying here, it's actually overlapping about 17 inches of the, of the line. Okay, all I got here is herbaceous material. I just got grasses. Ooh, now here I have another shrub. So now there's just a small amount that's overlapping the line. I'd say three and a half inches right there. 
And then there's a nice big rock, some grass. It looks like there's some critters that are living under this rock. Grass, grass, rock. Here a cow took a bite. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Oh, and then here we have a beautiful arrow leaf balsam root, but that's not woody. Oh, last plant in the line is a bitter bush. And I've got here, look at this, I have a gap here that is more than, oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so if I'm right over the line, I see that there's this part of the plant that overlaps the line, and it's about two inches. And then I have a gap here of three and a half inches. I get to another part of that shrub. So I'm not going to measure that gap. I'm going to say that there's this two and then I'm going to come over here and I will say there's five and a half. I, and that's it. So okay, now we're going to do the calculations. Remember in the field we had 65 foot line. And if you walked along with me and you wrote these numbers on your data sheet, there were 11 plants or 11 segments of shrubs that we measured and those were the inches for each of them. Um, just to make it easy, we just do three sets of six. So um, these first six uh, total 29 inches. Just to try to make the math a little easier instead of a big long line. This never, next set of shrubs, we had two big ones in there, so it, ha it was 44 inches. So the total intercept of shrubs then was 73 inches. And remember that our shrub was, or our uh, line was 780 inches, so if you take 73, divide by 780, you'll get about 9%. So that's what that uh, line uh, looked like um, through the calculations.